Now on our video adventures, we took you to Nico's, a French restaurant in Mount Pleasant. Be sure to check that out on my playlist. But this is Nico's Italian restaurant, Laura, named after his grandma. It has rustic Italian dishes and house-made pasta. Let's check it out. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. Laura is located in Main Street, Somerville, and they do have their own dedicated parking. However, if the parking lot is full, you can easily park across the street in this nice little grassy area over here. Stepping inside the restaurant, I was really taken back about how it combines this nice casual elegance to it. It's relaxed, but at the same time, very refined. A great place for a date night. They have lots of really nice seating here, but I would still highly recommend making reservations. This place is very popular. Now we came here on a Saturday afternoon, mainly because it's one of the few days that they serve lunch and the lunch menu is identical to the dinner menu. I really enjoyed the lit up expediting table. It was interesting to watch them put the finishing touches on their dishes. The front entrance way of course has all their wines and for some reason Nico decided to park his Ducati motorcycle right here. They have a really nice long and spacious bar area here if all the tables are taken up so you can enjoy your meal at the bar and not be elbow to elbow with the other patrons. Now in the back area they have this area squared off for private events and I'm told they can accommodate up to 70 people if not more here. Now we're still in August here, so it's a little bit hot outside, but in cooler temperatures, this would be a great outdoor area to sit and enjoy your meal and relax and take in the Somerville views. Now one of the overwhelming moods of this restaurant by Nico Roma is obviously family. The walls are just totally covered with pictures of his Italian family and various scenes throughout the past. It was really interesting. It really helped to give the whole restaurant a warm and inviting feel like you're being brought into grandma's house. And speaking of which, here is Nico Roma's grandma Laura, the namesake of the restaurant. Now here's their wood fire oven where they make their pizzas. However, we went strictly pasta on this trip, but maybe next time. My wife got the blood orange martini with firefly vodka and blood orange. And let me tell you, I was a little bit envious of it because I really enjoy blood orange. And the drink was light and refreshing and delicious. And the slice of blood orange on the top was really just a nice added touch. Now I couldn't go to Laura without trying their signature drink, the Laura. Lemoncello, Prosecco, Elderflower with a little bit of lemon sorbet floating around in there. Now I've had lemon drinks in the past and let me tell you this is the best I've ever had. It had none of that tartness and pucker that a lot of them have. Now, of course, when you go to an Italian restaurant, you have to have meatballs. It's quintessential. Their meatballs are beef, veal, pork, their mother sauce, Parmesan with focaccia bread for dipping. Now, these meatballs were cooked excellent. It was nice and tender. And the one nice thing about it, I really like the portion size. They weren't gigantic, so they're not going to spoil your entire meal. But the true star of the show is that mother sauce. Amazing. That mother sauce was so good that not only do we use up all our focaccia bread sopping it up, I ended up going back with a spoon to finish off every last bit. Now my wife went with the bucatini, carbonara, pancetta, pecorino, parmesan, and egg. Now I'm primarily a red sauce kind of guy. I don't normally go with the white creamy sauces, but I did give my wife's dish a try and it was delicious. The way it imparted those strong flavors of pecorino and parmesan, each bite was just pure cheesy goodness. 
And it was really smart to use these thicker noodles as it really helped hold in that sauce and cheese and the ingredients. And let me tell you, this is a generous portion. My wife got two full meals out of this. I don't know, after sampling this, I might become a carbonara convert. Now, of course, I had to try one of their all-time favorite special dishes, lasagna a la Laura, with a bolognese, mozzarella, sausage, and parmesan. I really enjoyed the fact that they cooked it in its own special little dish. It didn't just give you a slice off of a larger lasagna. It made it much more crispy and tasty. And I'm going to go out here on a limb and say, this is the best restaurant lasagna I've had out of all the places we have visited so far. All the ingredients were of the best quality, and it was deep and rich and had lots of ooey gooey cheese. Now we made sure we saved some room for dessert. Here's a bunch of their gelato they have. We had a little bit of that. You'll see that coming up. And here's their dessert case. They had a cheesecake with a strawberry type frosting around it. There you see the tiramisu's ready to go. And right there, that little white dome, that's what we're gonna be getting. I'll let our waitress describe the dish for you. Our lemon gelato. Oh, thank you. That is going to have a strawberry compote and a little bit of granola that is on top, like grand cracker and granola. Oh, and then here's the piece de resistance. You're right And this is what Paul, you called it a Neapolitan? Italian semi fredo Neapolitan. So semi fredo means semi frozen. Is that almonds on the top? Those are almonds on the top. Yes. Now, the gelato was a gift from the restaurant. That's not on the menu. They just brought it out special for us. But this semi-fredo was quite interesting, and it's really nice whenever you go someplace and they put together a dish table side. It kind of reminded me of the Italian version of a baked Alaska. You had that meringue on the outside with those almonds. Then underneath that, you had a little bit of chocolate ice cream under that. And then at the very bottom, just a slight hint of strawberry jam. It was definitely a tasty and refreshing way to end our meal. And we enjoyed each bite thoroughly. If you're on a date night, be sure to order this. Your date will be very impressed. While exploring the restaurant in this little nook, I found these plaques that contained the original handwritten recipes by Nico's grandma. I thought that was pretty interesting. Laura is a restaurant that hits it out of the park on all levels. Top notch, excellent service, quality ingredients, delicious meals. You have to go here. It's an amazing place to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost anything, and it helps to grow the channel. And we put out a new restaurant video each week. And as always, thanks for watching.